Hello, my name is Jack Wallen, and I'm here for the Eclective to do a Books That Don't Suck video review for Seth Blackborn's Circus of the Dead. Now in certain circles I'm referred to as the Zombie King, so I do know a thing or two about zombie novels. And when I read a zombie book, I want brain eating, and decapitation, and gunshots, and conspiracies. But Every once in a while, when I read a zombie book, I want something a little different. And Circus of the Dead delivers just that. Now what you will find in Seth Blackburn's book is elegant prose. A short story about a little boy who runs off to find a circus, and that circus doesn't have exactly what he expected. It has what you might expect from the title, The Dead. But there is no grisly horror. There's no entrails and blood flowing. But there's just good poetry and good story. It's something that a lot of zombie books don't have. These characters, you want to know more about them. You want to know where they've been and where they're going. And you want to know about this circus. What's going to happen to it? I hope that Seth actually writes a sequel to this, or at least a full-blown novel about this Circus of the Dead, because his short story left me wanting much, much more. But that doesn't mean it's not worth reading, because it is. It's very good. I really enjoyed it. Sometimes zombie books can get so trite, so cliché. This time, not so much. You really need to read this, whether you are a zombie fan or not. If you're not, if a, you're zombie, not a zombie fan, fear not. There's not enough gore to make you sick. But what there is, is enough elegant poetry to make you keep reading. If you are a zombie fan, you're just going to want more. But that's okay, because in this case it works, and it works very well. I applaud Mr. Blackburn for writing this short story. It's something the zombie genre needs, and needs more of. A short little elegant story that makes you wonder where things came from and where they're going. Give Circus of the Damned a read. You won't regret it, and it won't take up much of your time. And it certainly comes approved by the Zombie King. This is Jack Wallen for The Eclective and Books That Don't Suck.